This is Rap Hits, and so FBG Cash confronted PSB Fredo on live. He went on live with PSB Fredo to confront him about the disrespect. This was just not too long ago before FBG Cash passed recently. He just passed. More details are on the way about that, but in this video I'm going to share with you, you're going to um, you're going to find a link in the comment section in the description box that will show you the history of beef between PSB Fredo and FBG Cash. He was on him like, look, FBG Cash wasn't wasn't for that disrespect that PSB Fredo was dishing out and the threats. Um, PSB Fredo went pulled up to Chicago, uh, but before that. Um, PSB Fredo has somehow got FBG Cash on live with him to to play him his new songs. It's like like PSB Fredo almost confirmed that that was him cracking um, cracking trades. So PSB Fredo says he's BD now, but there's old video footage that shows PSB Fredo cracking trades. FBG Duck, I mean FBG Cash had gotten on live, and then Billionaire Black joined. And so did Ruger, and they was all clowning PSB Fredo on live, and and and, and PSB Fredo was uh, snapping back at them and stuff. It was, it was pretty. Um, it's something to check out. I mean, look, links in the comment section in the description box so you can check it out for yourself and see them go at it with PSB Fredo about the disrespect over Doug. PSB Fredo keep on disrespecting the FBG boys and the GDs and uh, he's he's going at them pretty uh, consistently. It's, it, it's like a um, it's it's almost like a um, Takashi six nine, a new Takashi six nine. I talked about this in other videos, um, so you can check out some of my previous videos for more information on this dude PSB Fredo. But yeah, this back and forth was um. It was something to check out because Billionaire Black, he was on there, and it's it's like they they wasn't taking this dude serious. It looks like they ain't taking this dude serious, and I can't even really say that PSB Fredo seems like a real threat. Like he doesn't really seem like a real threat either. It just seems more like a, a troll, and I think that's kind of where they're how they looking at it with this dude. But there was um two incidents that I'm gonna post. So when you check out on uh, the link, there's gonna be two videos. One is with uh, FBG Cash. I mean, PSB Fredo telling FBG Cash to pull up because he's in the city. PSB was in Chicago riding through St. Lawrence and telling FBG Cash to pull up. And then this happens to FBG Cash just um, you know, what weeks later, just weeks later. So I don't really think. I doubt there's a connection. I don't think, like I said, I don't think PSB Fredo really is about that life. I mean, I don't know what he's about really, but to me, it's it seems more like trolling. So I don't, I don't, I would guess that it's it's just a coincidence, the timing of where PSB Fredo was just trying to lure FBG Cash into the um into a situation that looked like um to me it's just trolling. Um, you know, it's like no, it's no. Uh, PSB doesn't seem like any more of a threat than Six Nine. Six Nine, you know, he's a mega troll. It's like you don't have to take that stuff serious, and that's what they were saying. So, but then the second link is with um, there's two links. Like I said, the second link is gonna be with Billionaire Black joining the live with Cash and uh, Ruga all teaming up against PSB Fredo. So, check out the links. R.I.P. FBG Cash. Man, that was crazy. That's so crazy. Like, it was just on the rise. It's like just as soon as, soon as he gets on, this happens. I I saw a good future for FBG Cash. He was about to do some stuff. Even though I wasn't really feeling the label deal because I think the label was changing the sound a little bit. I think he would have came back around. I think he would have figured it out. Because they did that to Dirk, too. It kind of was like a different sound when Dirk got his deal. They made him sound different. And then people wasn't feeling it. And then he broke away from the label. That's when he got back on. 
is when he focused on his own sound and his own look and his own video ideas and stuff like that. So I think FBG Cash would have figured it out. He was next up, man. I mean, Little J got that spot anyways right now. Because when Little J came out, he took all that clout. He took all that clout. But then there's um, there's still Billionaire Black out here. There's still Ruga out here. Billionaire just can't seem to get a hit. Like, he, he, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think Billionaire has, you know, I don't know what type of clout he can get. Maybe if he links up with Jay, he can get some clout up. Um, if he if he links with Little J uh, or Ruga, if he links with either of those guys, maybe Billionaire could get back um some clout. But for for now, it looks like it's left. What's left in that group is um, I would say Little J more than Ruga. I'm still trying to. I'm still feeling Ruga a little bit. I mean, he's been putting out some 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 okay stuff. Um, but I think Little J got the clout right now in that in that whole group now that fbg cash is gone so our long uh r.i.p fbg cash though r.i.p fbg cash um look like i said links are in the comment section and description box um also i'm gonna leave links if you want to if you need promotion for your music or if you want to sign up to rap his free uh email newsletters or if you want to sign up to rap his social media and all that, it's all in the comment section and description box. So I'm out of here.